Why is it so difficult to get to Mars? Today, we delve into the monumental task of sending humans to the Red Planet, dissecting the formidable obstacles that stand in our way. Despite the ambitions of space agencies like SpaceX and NASA, the journey to Mars remains elusive. But why is it so difficult? Join us as we uncover the key reasons behind this great challenge. Back in the 1960s, NASA achieved remarkable success with six manned moon missions. Yet, despite these historic achievements and our familiarity with space travel, the prospect of setting foot on Mars still feels distant. Mars is millions of kilometers away, making it a monumental challenge compared to the relatively close destinations we're accustomed to, like the International Space Station. But it's not just about distance. The technical and logistical challenges of a Mars mission are immense. From the sheer amount of fuel needed to the extended duration of the journey, every aspect requires meticulous planning and innovation. Join us as we explore these challenges in detail and discuss the potential solutions that could bring us closer to our goal of reaching Mars. I'm Mike Adams and welcome to The Final Frontier. The primary obstacle boils down to one fundamental factor, distance. Mars is significantly farther away compared to the destinations astronauts typically visit. While we witness frequent trips to the ISS and previous journeys to the Mir Station and the Tiangong Space Station in China, these missions operate within what's known as Low Earth Orbit, ILEO, typically a few hundred kilometers above Earth's surface. To put it into perspective, the ISS orbits at an altitude similar to the distance between Madrid and Almeria, approximately 400 kilometers. In contrast, Mars is millions of kilometers away, making it a monumental challenge in terms of distance alone. Despite advancements in science and technology, sending humans to Mars remains a feat of immense difficulty and complexity, surpassing anything achieved thus far in human space exploration history. Lunar man travel requires journeying beyond the low Earth orbit, ELEO, because the moon is situated approximately 380,000 kilometers away from Earth, making it roughly 1,000 times farther than LEO altitudes. Typically, a crew and their spacecraft are launched into Earth's orbit before embarking on a journey to the moon, a feat historically accomplished in about three days during the Apollo missions. A mission to Mars presents a substantially different challenge. Traveling to Mars necessitates transitioning from a mission centered around Earth to one focused on the Sun, known as a heliocentric orbit. The distances involved in such a journey are vast. While the specific gap between Earth and Mars varies, the closest approach occurs approximately every 26 months when the distance narrows to about 55 million kilometers, lasting for a few weeks. These distances dwarf those of previous manned missions. The maximum distance to Mars is roughly 1,000 times greater than the Earth-Moon distance and approximately 1 million times greater than the distance from Earth's surface to low Earth orbit, LEO. Orbits typically traversed. To put it simply, a single trip to Mars equates to a million trips to the International Space Station, yeah, IISS. Understanding these distances provides valuable insight into the enormity of the challenge posed by Mars exploration. To illustrate further, let's compare two hypothetical human crewed missions. An orbital mission around Earth for one crew member versus a lunar mission accommodating three crew members. Let's delve into the historic Mercury program, specifically the inaugural orbital mission, Mercury 6, led by John Glenn in the early 1960s. This mission utilized a formidable 120-ton Atlas rocket towering at 29 meters. It successfully delivered a payload of 1.2 tons into orbit, maintaining an average altitude of 200 kilometers around Earth. On board was a Mercury capsule housing a line crew member who spent a remarkable five hours in space. Now, consider the monumental shift when we aim for the moon, a destination approximately 1,000 times more distant. Take, for instance, Apollo 17, the final lunar exploration mission. Its command and service module, coupled with its lunar module, 
totaled around 50 tons. These components were propelled towards the moon by the colossal Saturn V rocket, weighing approximately 3,000 tons and standing at a towering height of 110 meters. The mission spanned roughly 12 and a half days, during which two crew members ventured onto the lunar surface for just over three days, while the third remained within the craft throughout. This comparison highlights the enormous jump needed to travel beyond Earth's low orbits and explore distant worlds. Notably, the payload capacity increases from 1.2 to 50 tons, while the size of the launch vehicle surges from 120 to 3,000 tons. Now, let's consider a mission to Mars. Picture a crew of six astronauts setting off on a journey, perhaps reflecting projections for a mission around 2037. This expedition would involve a challenging 174-day outbound journey, followed by 201 days for the return trip with an extended stay of 539 days on Mars. Such a prolonged period on the Martian surface becomes essential to align with the optimal Earth-Mars positioning for a fuel-efficient return, reducing the need for transporting hundreds of tons of additional fuel. This translates to a duration of 914 days spent on Mars, approximately equivalent to two and a half years. The leap from lunar to Martian missions is significant, doubling the crew and extending the mission duration to about 73 times that of the longest lunar mission requires transporting approximately 150 times more supplies. Additionally, prolonged interplanetary travel necessitates enhanced radiation protection for the crew, which is achieved in part by increasing the mass of the spacecraft. However, this challenge remains partially unsolved. Another issue with extended missions is the increased likelihood of equipment breakdowns over time. This requires either significantly improving equipment durability or carrying spare parts, which in turn increases the payload mass. Unlike missions to the International Space Station, ISS, where spare parts can be stocked, a Mars mission requires onboard repair or replacement of malfunctioning components. Transporting more mass to Mars requires a proportional increase in fuel for both acceleration and deceleration upon arrival. This amounts to hundreds of tons of fuel needed for a single trip. Some scientists propose utilizing Martian resources to produce fuel, but no proven system exists yet. Until such technology is demonstrated to be feasible, reliance on Earth-sourced fuel remains the only option. Considering the distances involved, a Mars mission requires between 850 and 1,250 tons of fuel for the round trip. This quantity is substantial when compared to the International Space Station, ISS, which weighs around 420 tons. For context, the Space Shuttle, a familiar spacecraft, could only carry between 15 and 25 tons into space, depending on the final orbit altitude. Similarly, the Ariane 5 and the Russian Proton rocket can transport approximately 20 tons into low Earth orbit. To grasp the scale of the challenge, imagine that to transport all the necessary equipment to Mars, we would need numerous rocket launches. These rockets would need to be as powerful as, or even more powerful than, the Saturn V rockets from the 1960s. The Saturn V, the most potent operational rocket ever built, could transport just over 120 tons into low Earth orbit and 50 tons to the moon. Considering the demands of a Mars mission, it's conceivable that 10 launches of rockets akin to the Saturn V, or its equivalent, might be necessary. It's worth noting that during the entire Apollo program, only 9 Saturn V rockets were launched. The Saturn V was specifically designed for lunar missions and remains unmatched in power. The upcoming Space Launch System's SLS rocket might rival or surpass the Saturn V's capabilities. The challenges don't end with launch capabilities. Extended exposure to weightlessness, which profoundly impacts human physiology, is a major concern for Mars missions. Unlike the cinematic depictions of spacious, rotating cabins mimicking gravity, current spacecraft lack such amenities. 
As a result, astronauts embarking on a Mars journey will endure weightlessness throughout the mission, with uncertain prospects for recovery upon arrival. For psychological reasons, a span of two and a half years is significantly lengthy. During the voyage, Earth will appear as a mere star-like dot to the crew, hardly discernible during Martian nights. The crew will endure constant confinement in cramped quarters, endure immense stress, and face the inability to engage in fluid conversations with loved ones on Earth due to signal travel time. It's important to understand that radio signals, despite traveling at the speed of light, encounter significant delays over vast distances. Even with this swiftness, there is an eight minute delay between messages due to the immense distances signals must traverse. Thus, engaging in real time conversations from Mars is nearly impossible. Moreover, the endeavor of sending a crewed mission to Mars entails a multitude of technical, technological, and operational hurdles. No human has ever embarked on such a prolonged journey. Astronauts will contend with months of weightlessness and exposure to interplanetary radiation. Once on Mars, they will confront further challenges confined to a cabin likely as small as, if not smaller than, their spacecraft. While some proponents of interplanetary travel may claim humanity possesses the requisite technology, scientific evidence suggests otherwise. The obstacles inherent in interplanetary travel remain formidable, though not insurmountable. With adequate funding and meticulous planning, it may be feasible. NASA projects the possibility of sending humans to Mars by the century's end with modern science and technology, while others assert the task is more complex and could take longer. The journey to Mars is a monumental undertaking, fraught with challenges that demand our utmost ingenuity and perseverance. From the vast distances involved to the technical intricacies of spacecraft design and the physiological impacts on astronauts, every aspect of this endeavor requires meticulous planning and innovation. While the prospect of sending humans to Mars remains a complex and daunting task, it is not beyond our capabilities. We can inch closer to realizing this historic milestone with sustained investment in research, development, and exploration, coupled with international collaboration and public support. Together, let's continue to push the boundaries of what's possible and inspire future generations to reach for the stars. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.